Hello and welcome back to Tasha Could Make That. I have something really special that I'm going to start today for my knitters out there. I recently released the Wondrella Cardigan Knitting Pattern. It's a 1950s Batwing style sweater. I'm wearing one of the two versions right now and beside me is the second one. And today I'm going to kick off a knit along for this pattern. Anyone at all can join in the knit along, but I'll be gearing it particularly for those who want a little more hand holding with their project or just want the camaraderie of knitting along with other knitters or listening to me yammer on about knitting. <laughs> While the knit along videos will be here on YouTube, I'll also post some updates on Instagram too, where I'm particularly active in my stories. We can use the hashtag Wondrella Knit Along and Wondrella Cardigan anywhere on social media. So if you follow me on Instagram, you might want to turn on post notifications for my profile so you don't miss any knit along posts. We're also going to have a private Slack workspace where we can chat with each other, but more about how to join that at the end of the video. You can get the Wondrella pattern both on Ravelry and Payhip. Both links will be in the description. And anybody participating in the Knit Along can get 20% off the pattern for the course of the Knit Along. The coupon code will be in the description too. The total official Knit Along time will be about two months and consist of four more videos after this one, some of which will be pretty deep dives. You can go at your own pace and use these videos in the future, but if you finish within the official time frame and post on social media and tag me, with your permission, I'll try to include you in the wrap-up video here on the channel. I say try because that's sort of assuming that anyone actually knits along during the course of the knit along with me and post finished projects anyway, so I apologize in advance if this part is subject to change. Anyway, I love this pattern so much, so let me talk about it just a little bit more and then I'll get into some of the knit along housekeeping details. Wondrella is a cropped vintage style cardigan. One of the distinctive features about it are the bat wing sleeves, which are knit differently than the majority of original vintage sweaters that have bat wing sleeves. For those, you typically either grow the sleeves onto the body, casting on more and more stitches for the lower body out to the sleeves as you go, sometimes with no shoulder seam, or you knit sideways from sleeve cuff to sleeve cuff as one piece, which is essentially growing the body from the sleeves. The method I use for Wondrella, and I've used it for my Legendaire pattern too, which I'll link in the description, is inspired by these two original vintage 1950s sweaters that I own. These are not hand knits, but ready to wear, and you can see the really deep armhole for the sleeve. And it's also inspired by a couple of vintage knitting patterns, but best of all, the method I use is entirely seamless. Wondrell has two options to top off the peekaboo slit neckline, either this plain neckband in this version that I'm wearing, or a simple collar that's the perfect length to pop up for a great 1950s look. There's also other suggestions for customizations in the pattern, but we'll talk about that in the next video. So a little housekeeping, this knit along will be geared towards adventurous beginners and up and everyone is welcome to join. I'm not going to be going through every single step, however, so this isn't going to be like a learn to knit a sweater tutorial or anything like that. So if you're more of a beginner, you might still need to look up some techniques that you're not familiar with, but I'll touch on a lot of the elements of knitting this sweater as we go. I'll also be knitting another Wonderella 2, the version with the collar, and I'll show you my yarn for that shortly. So here's what we're looking at right now for the schedule for the knit along. Week one, which is today, this is our intro, and I'm going to talk about selecting your size, picking yarn, and swatching. Next week, for week two, It'll be all about modifications for both fit and design customizations. We'll also touch on the lower body, which goes a lot quicker than you think because the armholes are so deep, so the lower body is pretty short. Week four is really all about the upper body. We'll talk about dividing the body, knitting the upper body, and deciding on the collar and the neckband options that you want, and then knitting the neckties. In week six or seven, I'm building a little leeway in here for these last couple of videos. We'll talk about the button band options, the sleeves, and blocking. And week eight or nine will be the final cardigan reveal and wrap up. And hopefully I'll be sharing some final projects of yours, but that'll be determined by how you participate. So worst case, you'll just see me sharing my final Wondrella. <laughs> so that's roughly how the knit along schedule will go. And our very first topics start today, and that's selecting your size, yarn, and swatching. First things first, you need to decide what size to knit. Look at the sizes in the pattern and on the schematic page to pick your size. My patterns are size inclusive and go up to about a 62 inch bust finished size. Wondrell is meant to have negative ease at the fullest part of the bust, like many vintage patterns, meaning that the finished sweater will be smaller than your full bust measurement. One to three inches of negative ease is what I recommend in the pattern, but you could easily go up to four inches or so if you love a really fitted look or if your gauge tends to tighten up as you go and get into a rhythm with a project. I say that because that's actually something that happens to me a lot. 
So my full bust is about 35 inches, so the size 32.5 is perfect for me since that's about a couple inches of negative ease. It's a good idea to look at all the measurements in the schematic though and look out for anything that might not work for your body and for your preferences. Honestly, do not skip looking at the schematic either in my pattern or anybody else's patterns. Bodies are all unique. You might have longer arms and you might want to add a couple of inches of length or maybe you just don't like bracelet length sleeves, which this pattern has. Maybe you've got a longer torso or you don't wear quite as high-waisted style so you want to lengthen the body a little bit longer. Or if you only ever plan on wearing this over dresses, you might actually want it to be a little bit more cropped in length so that the waistband hits the waistband of your dresses. Or maybe you're between sizes and you just want the waist a little bit bigger. This is really the time to get familiar with the pattern, get familiar with the schematic so you don't end up with any surprises at the end. And all of this information will help you determine what modifications you might like to make, which I'll be talking about in the next knit along video. One little tip that I recommend at this step is to highlight everything for your size. So I'll do that on the schematic for the size I'm gonna work on. And then just go through the pattern and highlight or circle your size everywhere it makes sense. It's just, it's a really helpful thing to do when you're working with a multi-size pattern like this. And just mark it everywhere throughout all of the pages of the pattern and you will be good to go and save yourself some headaches as you are knitting so you're not accidentally finding you're reading the wrong instructions for the wrong size. <laughs> Next up, it's time for the fun part, picking yarn. The pattern gauge for Wondrella is five stitches an inch by seven and a half rows an inch. It uses two strands of yarn held together, lace weight mohair or alpaca and a fingering weight. The version I'm wearing uses an alpaca silk boucle blend but the collar version uses a kid silk mohair. If you'd prefer, you can just use a DK weight. You can absolutely go ahead and do that. While I designed the sweater to be kind of a fuzzy texture, if that's not your thing, just use a DK weight yarn. The gauge will work great for that. Also in terms of changing up yarn, if you have like a really, really particularly lightweight mohair, you might be able to carry it with a sport weight instead of a fingering weight. So you can play around with that and see what you like best. And then be a good knitter and swatch before you dive in. You don't need me to tell you to swatch, right? After you swatch, be sure to block it the same way that you'll block the sweater. Soak it in lukewarm water for about 10 to 15 minutes or so with a little bit of wool wash, pat out as much water as you can and lay it out or pin it out to dry. So I wanna show you the yarn I'll be using, this beautiful shade of light blue. The fingering weight that I'm using is actually the same for this pink version. It's Hedgehog Fibers Sporty Single, which is kind of a heavy fingering weight yarn. The pink version used the Hedgehog Fibers Alpaca Silk Boucle for the lace weight, but for this blue one, I'm gonna use her Kid Silk Mohair, which I've never knit with before. The color is called Glacier, and let me tell you, every time I saw this in the yarn shop on any of her bases, I wanted a sweater in it so badly, so I'm really excited to be using this color for the knit along. That's just about it for today's intro video and first steps for the Wondrella knit along. Buy the pattern if you haven't already, and don't forget the discount code, it'll be in the description and it'll only work for the duration of the knit along. And let's not forget about Slack. I've set up a private Slack workspace just for the knit along. I use Slack for all my test knits and I think it'll be a fun place to gather together during the knit along. Please keep in mind that the Slack channel is only for Wondrella knit along participants and it'll only be available during the course of the knit along. It's free to join Slack. Now I can't post an invitation link without allowing anybody to join and I don't want trolls or spam bots picking up the link. So here's what you're gonna need to do to join. To join Slack for the knit along, either email me from my about page here on YouTube, send me a private message on Instagram or Ravelry with your email address or fill out the contact form on my website, tashacouldmakethat.com. And then I'll send you an invitation. So start thinking about yarn and get your supplies ready. We'll meet back in about a week or so to talk about pattern modifications, including things like measuring the slit neck length. Most of the videos will be spaced about two weeks apart, but since you wanna think about your modifications early on, we'll jump into it next week. If you have any questions during the knit along, you can leave a comment here on YouTube, join Slack and ask me there, or DM me on Instagram. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, and please spread the word about the knit along too. Don't forget, if you post about the knit along on social media, please use the hashtags Wondrella Knit Along and Wondrella Cardigan, and be sure to tag me so I can see and share. I'll see you in about a week for the next knit along post. Bye.